Hey guys, I'm Derek and this is Kent. And we're here with Horizon Firearms and we're gonna to talk today about more gun stuff. Hey! <laughs> there you go. Uh, so one of my favorite things is working at a trade show and standing there and watching people walk by. And what'll happen is they'll just be walking by in their own business and one of the rifles that we have on display will catch their eye and they'll stop. Like it's like their face or their head stops and their body keeps moving. <laughs> and then they come back and they say, now what in the world? What's the purpose of that? And what they're talking about is our barrel fluting. So that's one thing we're kind of known for is um, the artistry part of it, right? Yeah. So wild the, and crazy paint jobs. Doing stuff, I would say, more counterculture to yeah. what people yeah. think about on the on the fluting side. And, and I agree. We get we get the question a ton is, well, what does it do? Yeah. Why? Why bother? So there's a couple answers to that, and there's a couple schools of thought as to what people really think about fluting. There's not a lot, to be honest, there's not a ton of publications that prove one way or the other. Um, but what we can say is that we guarantee half minute, and we flute in very radical fluting patterns, and we do not see a effect in the accuracy. It, it all comes down to how you do it when you manufacture it, which is why I think one reason we, we don't see the issue. So. What it comes down to is, one, you do it because it looks freaking awesome. I mean, that's, that's what I always <laughs> end on. I'm like, well, there's three reasons. And there's three reasons. Yeah, it does this, this, and this, and, and it's it cool. Looks cool. Uh, you know, I think I think that's usually comes out number one for most people. Now, the other thing is, you do reduce quite a bit of weight. So, you know, not this particular pattern here because this is already a pretty heavy barrel. But some of the more aggressive spiral flutes, you know, you can remove as much as nine ounces worth of weight. That's huge. It's very huge. Yeah. What, what it comes out to be is that this steel barrel fluted in the correct way can be very close to what a carbon fiber barrel would weigh. Um, and, and where that weight makes a big difference, it's not just net weight, but to me, it's all about balance of the rifle, right? So it's where you put your weight that makes a rifle feel or handle a certain kind of weight. Sure. So with looting, you can kick your weight back that direction and it, it makes the rifle feel more balanced. Um, the other deal is you do, in some occasions, get more cooling because you have more surface area. So explain what that means. So te yeah, so technically, say we spiral through a barrel, um, you know, or like this one back here, you can see we have um, like an isogrid type deal. So you have more surface area for the heat to leave the barrel, and so that your shot to shot uh, temperatures are more the same. So your barrel tends to be a slight bit more accurate. Okay. Um, now there's people who argue that either way. For me, it, it's it's more of this, and I've seen this visually is that when you pull the rifling through the, the steel core to make, you know, whether you do a button or a cut rifle barrel, you've added tension to the material, right? And so when you go and flute this barrel, you will see that barrel more or less give back to a more natural position. And so um, people say, oh, well, you know, fluting will, will bend your barrel. Well, it's actually just releasing some of that tension. And so what I see is a barrel that doesn't have quite as much tension in it actually is a little more repeatable, you know, because like I said, it will go back to the same spot every time it heats up, and it's all about consistency with, with when it comes to accuracy. Sure. It's, as long as it does the same thing every time, even if the barrel was crooked, yeah. um, it, it would always hit it in always the same area. In the right. same area. Um, but again, I think, you know, part of the deal is, is making a rifle, like we talked about before, making a rifle that's your own and your own style. And if there's some type of fluting pattern that you've always dreamed up, hey, this would look really cool. That's something that we uh, we love doing that. Well, and how many, I mean, we do over a half a dozen different mm -hmm. fluting patterns. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty I mean, fun it, to see what comes through the shop. And it's, and again, like we've got several that are working on right now that people haven't even seen yet, mm -hmm. that it's, you know, we'll get a wild hair one day. Well, what if we did this? Now you're, you're limited by, you know, some of the tooling and approaches you can take, but, um, you know, for us, it's always been, well, why not? Right? right. So it's a question why we don't, we don't do it rather than assume that it's going to do X, Y, or Z. Right. And so. if it's not going to affect the accuracy of the overall platform. Right. Exactly. Why well, not? I mean, like I said, this guy here, I mean, if you, you, you can imagine it's a, if this was a straight steel barrel or even just a straight fluted barrel, how much different uh, of, a, of a, you know, complete Totally different rifle, there. yeah, so. absolutely. So that's why we do fluting, and that's kind of the reason for why other people do fluting. Um, we appreciate everything that uh, you guys, as far as feedback and stuff that you give us, um, you know, and we'll be doing plenty more of these, so catch us, catch us next time. Make sure you 
like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We're constantly posting photos of cool projects we're working on, um, hunting photos that customers send in. Yep. We saw Facebook, it's Horizon Firearms. Instagram, it's Horizon Firearms. Crazy. It's crazy. It's so easy to find us. Just <laughs> comment on things you want to hear or see from us, and we love hearing from you.